Good morning, fans, archery fans, ladies and gentlemen, everybody who follows our matches in YouTube, here we are in wonderful Copenhagen, in the World Archery Championships, the most successful championship in participation, and with me I have Andreas Lorenz, Andreas Lorenz, archer for many years, uh, now taking care of the Biter product, Biter Center, and uh, member of the our target committee in war archery so good morning juan carlos good morning andreas how good are you to doing? sit with you here in uh, well not warm copenhagen uh, as we see we have a little bit of wind here <laughs> and uh, we saw already the first set going on in the featured match juan carlos with germany and india facing each other in this very very important first match of the day Yes, uh, as uh, most of you probably know, this is a team competition and this is the competition that defines eight of the quota places for the Olympic Games in Rio, meaning that our uh, teams want, of course, to, to pass this cut because as soon as they pass the cut, they have a position for the Olympic Games. And in this moment, we have Germany leading 2-0 with a good 56 in the first end against uh, India with 49. So a clear first set for Germany, now going on to the second one. And, uh, you know how this works, there was a lot of discussion about the set system. With the regular scoring, this is a big difference to start. With the set system means that right now they just have two set points. And of course if India now make one point more in the scoring, can come back. And the match is not over. But it's a lot of discussion about the set system, especially lately we receive many comments that for the team it's probably too short, that it's going too fast, that we don't see enough the archer shooting. And of course, it's, uh, it's very difficult to find a system that please everybody, no, Andreas? Yes, it's definitely a big task. Uh, being part of the Target Archer Committee, this is one of our major tasks. Uh, since uh, Beijing, where after Beijing we started with the set system and it proved in the individual definitely to be very, very interesting for the audience and for the archers. The archers like, most of the archers like the set system. Uh, as we introduced it now in the team event, logically some people say it's short, but every arrow is counting. So you have just a little bit, uh, worst case, worst case you have 12 arrows, but uh, sorry. Yes. Yes, 12, 12, yeah. 12 in the team, correct. It's a bit early in the morning to make the yes. math. Yes, eh? <laughs> mathematics is good. So we have uh, Karina Winter shooting on, uh, for Germany, the winner of the European Games, individual in Baku lately, and the uh, number four in the world Germany, with a nine, India, India with a ten. Yes. What everybody watching these matches will realize that we are doing not alternate shooting, so both teams are shooting at the same time, and the reason of that is because we have more teams shooting. This is the 1 8 finals, which means that it's not really still the quarter finals, semi finals, but at the same time, we are doing this as a special show range, which means we take out one match for all the rest of the field and we bring into this field that has camera, that has a setup for spectators, public with the idea to make it more excited for the first days of limitation for those that come to watch the event and for having the possibility to show it to our fans in YouTube. So this is because this is the reason you see that they are shooting at the same time. It's a little bit challenging to follow the impact of the arrows on the target. That's why we are two of us here. Correct. <laughs> and we're trying our best that at least the people watching it from home, people watching it from the job, from work, yeah, 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 maybe. <laughs> can can enjoy and at least see what is happening live. And India with an eight, Germany with another nine. So it's a tight score at the moment. Let's say that both teams are very experienced. I can see from the Indian team, there's two archers, very, very experienced. Deepika Kumari, of course, leading. Yes, yes. And in Germany, and in Germany, Indian, they have a lot of experience. The three of them Germany, are archers nine. that have been many years shooting in international events and probably you Andreas know them better. Yes, I'm living in Germany as you know. It's a fact. Germany already shot six arrows with a 55. That means India needs a nine to tie. It's a nine. India, nine. We have a nine tight score, three one. Yep. Yes, in the German team we have a very strong team. I think in Europe the strongest team since uh, one year. Uh, 
we have the number four in the world. Last year, they had two archers qualified for the final uh, in Lausanne for the World Cup final. World champion field, two world champions field so on the ground and one world champion indoor. So we have strong archers, but as well India with Deepika Kumari, World Cup winner with 18 at that time. Deepika, who is back, has been struggling a couple of seasons, a couple of years after the Olympi London Olympic, but she's back. Definitely, uh, we saw yesterday their qualification rounds and finish uh, pretty strong, and she is an archer considered for the individual finals. Individual, yes, for sure. So the weather has been a bit challenging last uh, days. We had a lot of wind, especially inconsistent wind. It was cold. It was pretty, pretty cold. It has been raining. So the, the weather has been very challenging for, for archers trying to make the best score and trying to perform. And there was a lot of comments in the hotel with, where the archers were staying, like, this is the Danish summer. <laughs> Trust me. I've been here before in summer, and that's not the regular summer in, in Denmark and in beautiful and wonderful Copenhagen. What is very impressive, Andreas, is the size of the field. I don't know if our TV director can show us the huge size of the, of the field. We have, we we'll say, 80 targets for the competition field, plus another 30 behind for practice. Let's say that from one end to another one, you have 10 minutes walking at least. That's why I saw some uh, golf cars here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, it's definitely an impressive field. Beautiful setup from the organizing committee. I, I would say that it's a nice field with that access for spectators and participants. What you have, we call the village. You have a booth for uh, different manufacturers. You have equipment repair booth, you have different sponsor booth, and then you enter in the venue and for spectators they can be close to the tent where the archers protect the equipment and when they are waiting and you have a spectator stands in the show race. Yeah, yeah. And it's uh, another clear thing, we have uh, not only group premises here, we have a uh, great team working. I think the, the guys here, the volunteers and even the professionals here in Copenhagen did a great job. A real great job. Totally right, Andreas. It's a great organizing committee. We, we could feel from the beginning as World Archery the passion they have. They really wanted this competition and everybody is fully on board and engaged and, and they are enjoying when they are working pretty hard. So you can feel this atmosphere and the only pity is the, the weather but we are an outdoor sport. This is what it is. In archery, if the weather is bad, you have to adapt, you have to learn, and there the people with experience has a little bit more at advantage. It's interesting to see how the archers from Germany are talking, interacting between them. They, you can see they work like really like a team. Yeah. Now it's raining. Information for our spectators. It started to rain. The wind calmed a little bit down. And to follow up what you said, uh, yes, the team uh, worked very hard uh, in their national training center, even in this condition, to be taken out of the regular competition to a, sp to a um, featured match. That's what they trained, because they know that could happen. And uh, performing now, 8-9. Eight, 8 for Germany, 9 Germany for India. Eight. Germany with another 8. Karina Winter with two eights. Long draw on this mm -hmm. one with a six. This, this hurt. Yeah. She had a very long aiming face mm -hmm. on this one. And we have yeah. uh, Elena Richter with a nine. No, normally in the first uh, matches of a team, the one winning is the one who makes less yeah. misses, like that one, the, the one who makes less blues or seven. It's not so much to make a ten, it's not to make a six. And we have now a two-point lead after three arrows. Three arrows remaining on this set. Both shot at the same time, yeah, both no. with the nine. So still two points. And to be sincere, after this set, it could be finished. Yes. That means if Germany takes the win in this set, they are in the top eight teams in the world. And qualify for the Olympic Games. And qualify for the Olympics. India Six. shoots. With ten. a 10, strong 8. Yeah. And you see how fast it is? It is. 
It is that's the comment we have received. The team competition is really fast and it's difficult more or less to see the archer, especially when you are not alternating. You're trying to follow up what is happening, but when both archers shoot at the same time, it's India quite challenging. India shoots with a nine, eight, and lost Germany. three three. How fast it can be. India with a nine in the last arrow. And 51.50, it must be confirmed? Yes, of course, because what we are seeing here is uh, the provisionary uh, uh, scores so that our spotter, Andrea Gabardi, is spotting forward archery. And uh, he's watching with the scope to the target and putting it manually the, the data. We don't have the Falco Eye electronic system here in this future matches because we will have them on the finals in in the downtown of Copenhagen but here we are using a spotter who watch uh, the target and make the temporary or the provisionary score and then of course as we can see the archers walk to the target it's another difference of the final we don't have runners here that we have to talk much more <laughs> we have to work a little bit more yeah, yeah. and the archers go to the target the score we can see in the middle we have the judges and to, to make sure that any question or any arrow close to the line can be judged by the, the judge. But the rules say that the two teams have to agree, and if they disagree, the judge is called and make the last call, and it's just one call. So, of course, it, I didn't see any liners, so I think it's most likely clear. It's it will be clear. like this, but if there are two or three arrows very close, or is a liner, then the judge has to confirm on the target and there's no appeal or no other decision. In the past, in our time, when we were young, you could ask a second judge and a third, and the third one. judge. Yeah. And let's say, as an archer, you feel that was quite safe or, or, or let's say fair, but also in the other part, we have to make sure that the judges they are not in dispute and it look like a, a game. One is calling and you call the second one just in case if he changes his mind. So if a judge is, is accurate, he just meet another, another call, and that's what's happening now. And we are working to have the judges well prepared and, and much more accurate in the call. If the spectators see a car behind the archers, it's not the car of Andreas or Juan Carlos who park close to no, our booth. it's our main sponsor, Kia. Yes, correct. We can see here the scoreboard. And we can see the score is a nice shot. And it shows clearly 50 51. Although they shot a six, but uh, Deepika Kumari with the 19 10 9 in the last two arrows made it. And uh, we have a 3 3. Who wins the next set? Is true. Hard to say. Or we have a, a shoot off if they tie the last set. That would be amazing. The first, the first one, a shoot off for the Olympic water, this hurts. <laughs> but at the same time, it's really. Is really giving us a, a show. This is a show range. Yeah. Maybe we can uh, try to see what we have in the other matches uh, running on. We have a 5 1 on target 4 and 5. That means that Korea is true. We'll make the Olympics. Yes, we have. Korea already winning 5-1 in the next match Georgia. Italy, Georgia Georgia won and Italy has not passed the next one Russia Ukraine we have the same situation 3-3 three, three. then we have Spain Mexico Mexico beats Spain 6-0 China against USA China won 5-1 in the next match Japan against DPR Korea Japan beat them by 5-1 and Germany 3 India 3 is the one we are watching here and Colombia against Chinese Taipei, Colombia is leading for two. And our two home nations, my dear friends, Spain is out, Italy is out. This is the game. It's this tough. is the game. This is the game. What we have seen, Andreas, you arrived today, but uh, I'm here since six days already. Uh, there was a lot of discussion of how strong Asia is coming and we could see this coming last year asia's countries the archers are really improving fast and europe starts struggling europe has been dominating archery for many years with some asian countries and this is switching it's really asian countries taking the, the lead the top in in archery and struggling is america and europe which now have to think what we have to do to combat yeah. uh, one thing is sure in the men's it was a little bit 
what we didn't think. I thought many more uh, Asians would do it in the men's, but probably due to the weather condition, due to the uh, time I eat left from Karina and the 10 for India, I just want to say the that the teams coming from Asia not early enough, maybe they struggled with timing. Another eight for Germany. Two eight. Eight eight against ten. That's another another long one. Another long one for India. And an eight, so two point lead after two hours. We can feel the tension. You look in the, the archers, the faces, how they have the body language and it's much more tense than the first end even. Yeah, and the and here and ooh, Richard has withdraw one arrow. Come down. So and X again. for the Pika. Nine, Nine for Germany. So we have a three point lead for India. There is no wind at the moment. And on the little wind that is blowing is just in the same direction of the arrow fly, so Eight, eight, nine. Eight. So two yeah. points. Yeah. One point. Eight. Silent. Dead yeah. silent. It's <laughs> extremely silent. We, we have another nine, nine for Germany. And nine, nine from India. India nine. So it's Six. not positive for Germany. Germany is out. India won by one point. It's still unofficial. But again, I don't see liners that yes. could change the situation here. It's a 52 for Germany and uh, 53 the for happiness India. of the Indian girls. They cannot believe it. <laughs> they were working, but they felt they were behind, of course, and they came back. It's interesting. Look here, the happiness, walking together. And another three years of work for them coming true because they worked three years for this event. Yes, that's true. India didn't perform as they expected in London and they have worked hard to, to get a strong team in men and women. In women is a bit younger, the men is quite experienced and in many years that these three artists have been together. And Japan, all those teams are three to the next round. We wait for official confirmation of the result between Germany and India. So Japan is uh, through from before. We have still not an updated uh, score for the other events. So Japan at the moment, Mexico and Georgia, and we just saw India. And China. China. So we have... Russia. Five countries already yep. confirmed with the quota places. Russia, Rio. Ukraine is missing. We have Korea, Georgia, Mexico, China, and Japan. India, confirmed. By one point, eh? unbelievable. Last arrow. Yes. This is tough. But not many tens. The last two ends, there was no ten for Germany. Yeah. While India shot three of them, and that was the big difference. Yes, all right. And nobody making a six because that's what is killing. When normally the team in, in this in this first early phases depends on the weakest one of the team. The weakest is the one who makes the difference. If the weak manage well and keep them in, the team is strong. Yeah. When you keep advancing in the matches and you go to the medal matches, it's the opposite. You depend very much on the one who is the strongest one. But this one needs to make the ten. 